What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is ASAC Pixel Retouch Academy. Today I've got something super exciting for all of you Photoshop users out there. Typically everyone who does retouching job, either beginner or pro. Okay, a free photo retouching program that will take your edit to the next level. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner, like I said, or a pro, this plugin is going to save you time and seriously upgrade your workflow. You can download the plugin for free. The link is right down in the description below. Okay, so the plugin file is protected with the password and I'll be showing you the password right here in the video. So make sure you watch through to catch it. Don't miss it. Make sure you watch through. Okay, so this is a 100% safe and legit plugin. No trick, no malware, just a powerful tool to help you get cleaner, sharper, and more professional edits inside Photoshop. And what's the name? FR2 plugin. Yeah, FR2 plugin. I've, I've actually talked about this plugin in one of my videos. So let's dive in and I'll walk you through exactly how to install it, how it works, and of course, show you the password you need to unlock the file. Let's get started. All right, so this is how the plugin looks. So after you download, you can actually put a password and it's gonna just go straight forward, double click on it to install. And you know where to find it. You I pretty much know that you already know how to install you no know, plugins in Photoshop already. So that shouldn't be a problem. <coughs> Sorry. So if you wanna locate it, you can go under Windows and Extensions and you're gonna see it. Okay, so now this is the plugin anyway. Now the FR2 plugin, it's an add-on. So we have the stats plus zoom. This is what the button you press whenever you want to start the retouching, auto retouching. Remember, it's just one click. You just need to click on start and zoom. So it's gonna do everything for you in less than 12 seconds or 10 seconds. Yeah, you're gonna get the job done. So, but um, I'm gonna bring it up anyway, but let's just talk about this. Now we have the retouch control, the texture control, the edit surface, blur, show max, edit max, all of this, you don't need to touch it for now. Let's just leave it. Um, the dodge and bone, you can toggle it off and on. If you want the dodge and bone, uh, if your picture already have highlights and shadows, you can turn it off. So, but I'm gonna be turning it on to show you how it works. This is the opacity, the blows and the contours. So if you have more, you wanna get more 3D look, you can increase the contour. If you wanna get more flat look, you can really increase the blows. Why the opacity is for the um, dodging bone to show very well. Okay, so one. Now the last two, if you want to get a smart object, as a finish work, you need to press close. If you want to get a rasterized layer, you press finish plus PW mask. But all of this is just to make your workflow faster, just to click on it and make it auto retouch every photo for you. Doesn't matter any photo, either full portrait or you know headshot and all of that is gonna do it for you because the plugin works like magic. It actually recognizes the skin tones, the hair, the background, all of all of that, and it does it for you. Okay, so um remember, like I said, let me close it. If you want to locate, you can come down to Windows and then you go to extension, you're gonna see it all around this side. Okay, so now um let's bring it back on, which is the FR2 plugin. So here's my FR2 plugin. <coughs> Sorry. All right. Um, now after I've explained the interface, so what we need to do, I'm going to start with the retouch control. I'm going to take it up. Uh, if you want a little retouch, you can take it downwards. If you want more retouch, I'm going to emphasize it so that you can see how it works. So I'm taking it up. Texture control. Um, if you want more texture, if you want less texture, let's just take it up for you now. So you see what it does. Now I'm gonna leave all of this because automatically it's gonna use these two settings to set all of these ones. Edit max and all of that. So now dodge and burn, I want more opacity. Yes, it most I want more highlight and all of those shadows. I want more contours. So I'm gonna take this backwards. Let's see how it works. Anyway, you can try something new once you get this, the plugin. Okay, so now once I'm done with all of these settings and I'm okay with it, um these two are the last part so you're going to click on start so you can start your countdown i told you like it's less than 10 seconds or 12 seconds so let's go um one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay 10 to 12 seconds anyway depend on the image 
wow take a look at the job done so now yeah let me explain the last part now if i click on finish it's going to make this top one look like this down one meaning I'm, i won't be able to open it up but if i click on close i can open it up and see all what is there if i didn't click click on close i click on finish it's going to flatten all the image and make it look like this without adjustment okay but let's see our before and after hmm amazing right before after let's come down to this place looks and one good thing it recognizes the you know the natural um, um what's it called now mac so for you to identify the subject so we have before and after before and after you can see this three dot one to three it's the plugin whenever the plugin doesn't remove all things like this it simply sees it as the natural mac which the person has and not blemishes okay but if you don't you're not okay with it you can actually remove it now let's look at the dodging and burning inside of it so um let's first of all turn it off once you turn it off it's going to give you before and after now if i turn it down and off you're going to see where it's affecting see where it's actually affecting now some other parts are not added not included so if you want to include it you know you can use this mask just press alt and you can just clean use black and white to you know touch where i can come here and just use the the, the white tool block and just paint on it so paint on it you can paint on this place you can see the hair going as i'm doing that see some of the hair going away so we can also remove some part of the hair right here just clip on cleaning and it's actually going to go away so we have before look at the hair they all gone okay so that's one you need to know now let's go back inside turn it off we're going to see notice something that the leaves so i want to include these leaves i'm just going to make sure the foreground color is black and paint on see our mask is affecting the leaves so just make sure it's smaller and paint on it to hard all of those pieces together like this and we're done so if i want to include hold and hold press it i want to include this down part i can just hit x to bring it back on yep so let's turn it back on and see some places that are not included so hold it back and we're good so if you want to decrease your opacity you can decrease your opacity but the best way to decrease your opacity is to create a mask on this one which is the first one then make sure your mask is the foreground color is black and decrease the opacity to somewhere around 14 and you can decrease some of the features you want to see let's say you want to bring back some of the texture here you can just do it well i don't think i'm gonna need that the only one i'm gonna need is the air so if i want to bring back all the texture of the air i'm just gonna increase and as i paint i'm gonna be seeing the textures of the hair and that starts you can just see i brought back the texture but i don't want to bring back the texture of the air yeah i want it to look more good so i just want this one texture of this one i'm gonna hide this one all right so that's fr2 plugin for you you can try it out before and after i've tried it on other images and it sure work fine work the same look at this this is what i use fr2 plugin uh, before and after before and after let's take a look at the amazing work it did for me i think there is one other one which is this one yep okay we can use this one um i've actually done this already so good one all right guys so see you in the next one make sure you try grab the plugin because it's actually going to help you and speed up your workflow once again don't forget to like share and subscribe this channel is pixel retouch academy see you in the next video